Hello, one and all, and welcome back to Let's Play Imperion Galactic Survival with me, Eki Thump. As you can see, I've completed the pathway up the mountain. Not quite 7,000 steps, not quite up to Greybeard specifications, but it is certainly a very long climb. Uh, let's go and take a look. Um, it actually turned out it was his grandmother <laughs> uh, the fun we had um, right you can see here um, this is what I've done to hide the join between the two bases so that's actually one base down there and then we've got the second base which is this part uh, over the bridge So let's get over the bridge and we're going to go across to the other side and start on our monastery complex. Alright, so the plan is uh, this bridge is going to lead uh, sort of around to the side here into a kind of entrance building in this crevice on this side of this ridge. And then over this ridge here is where we're going to have the the actual monastery in this sort of pivot, uh, this uh, divot of land here. And then up in that peak over there, that's where we're going to put the spire. That sounds like a plan to me. So these two bases, we're not even going to pretend they're connected, but we're going to give you, I think, a sight of what's over that ridge from uh, a fairly tall building here. Uh, I hope I've got enough wood for all this. Let's see how much I've actually got. So that's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight thousand, and one base starter. Um, we should be good. I know I've got a little bit more cooking up in Atuin, not much more. Uh, I'm hoping I don't have to stop and go and farm trees during this session. But we shall see. So, how far out do we come with this? Actually, this is probably far enough. As I'm lined up here, this is, I think, where we want to start going that way. So, let's get this pathway supported. One, two, three out. Oh yes, I did bring the paladin over the bridge because I need an oxygen station up here. I don't want to have to keep going all the way back down to Atawin. Um, it's not as difficult as I thought to get the paladin onto the bridge in the first place, despite the narrow pathway. Um, I just went up the mountainside. Ningwez, apart from the lack of iron, is a great planet to build on, just because of the low gravity. I mean, this is that's my jetpack jump. And I take no falling damage, even from that height. So yeah, if you're planning a planet to settle on, Ningwez might be a good spot. Cause it's, it's really easy to build here. Oh, we're at the limit. Uh, I'm going to need another base core. We've reached maximum width. Well, that's a chuffing pain in the ass. Um, nothing we can't solve, actually. I'm just going to need to... Rather than going up here, we can just go... Directly into the mountainside.
There we go. Now let's actually get our. I guess we're gonna need, we're gonna need an extra core for the monastery as well. Fine. Uh, let's get this one down in here. We've got to get it aligned perfectly. I'm just going to test this for size. Because I never built a shape like this before. Alright, well there's the general shape of the base of the tower. Uh, I think we are going to have to... Yeah, this is going to be the entrance. We're going to have to have a little bridge coming out over here, just so it's obvious which way you're supposed to go. And I want to raise the tower up, because we've got to be able to climb up to the next floor and see out onto that ridge over there where the monastery is actually going to be. Uh, this doesn't really need to be closed off. So I mean what we could do is have not walls but just pillars. Doesn't leave us a lot of space inside though if we do if we do that properly. Although I've got some elevator blocks on me, I could use those. Let's 
Let's have a go. See how this looks. Not bad actually. Not bad at all. Maybe you want to go a little bit higher. So if I build the if I build the floor across uh, this level, you don't quite get the view over there. So maybe one more. That's good. Okay, um, so let's get a platform on up here. Oh, the platform, it's okay, it could do with a little bit of something on top here. Maybe if just away from the block from the elevators we have little ramps. Yeah, this is good. Right, let's get this bridge on. Okay, that is the entry tower done. I am going to have to go back to Atwin, I think, because I need to get a fresh base starter. I think I've got a core, have I? Oh, might have the bits for a core actually. That might be where I broke one of the cores apart. Yes, I had the parts of a core in my inventory, so we're going to make one here. That's good. Let's get the west-east alignment again. Spot on as much as we can. There we go. Now this is going to be a straightforward octagon, I think. We want it fairly wide. Let's go one, two, three. And one and two and three well maybe we want to go four out and then because that'll be one and two and it should be one in the middle connecting them up
Yeah, this should be about right. If I can, if I get this all properly grounded, that should give us enough support then. So let's get this filled in, and maybe decide on a bit of uh, decoration, a bit of extra decoration for the base, and then we'll see where we stand. So this should do as the base of the spire. Uh, these may need a little bit of extra something. Well, maybe these don't actually need to come out too. Maybe they can just be like that. Or perhaps even just one down. We'll take that out. That's probably better. Um, yeah, so this is going to be the base. And essentially, we're just going to have a bit of a column supporting a massive crystal that will be the focus of this area. And then over there, that's going to be the space for the monastery and chapel and such. And we're definitely well on the way. To having the focal point of our imperial um, imperial cult or religion, whatever you want to call it, in place. Do you know? I'm going to change the plan slightly. We're not just going to have one crystal spire. <gasps> We're going to have five. Now, let's see. Got to remember, these bits with the marks on, these are the cardinal directions. But what we're going to do is take this part out. Oh, missed a block under that. We're going to extend this. What am I doing? Alright, so you can probably guess the general idea from this. We're going to have four little towers around the edge and a larger one in the centre. So five crystals and that should leave us some space still over there for an actual building. So let's get to work filling this in and decorating it. We're going to actually... The way this is positioned, one of these is going to be over the side of the mountain here. But I think that will actually look quite good. It might be a challenge to actually get it properly supported. But we'll certainly have a good go. So let's get to work. Actually, I am slightly running out of time this evening. Um, I do want to get this video out pretty sharpish because I've missed a couple of days. So I might actually have to leave it there and continue the work on this uh, off camera. 
Um, you get the general idea of what I'm going to be doing here. So, apologies for the short episode, but I will uh, complete this um, this ring of towers uh, off camera, ready for next episode. And then we'll come back in next time and build the monastery and chapel. And that will actually be us finished in terms of the structural build then. And then we've just got to run around with the texture gun and then run around again with the colour gun. Which will be uh, great fun. Uh, I really wish they'd combine those. It would make large buildings in particular so much simpler. Uh, so once again, apologies for the slightly short episode. Um, but I've been Eki Thump and this has been um, Ningwe's Big Build Part 3, episode, I believe, 33 of Let's Play Imperion Galactic Survival. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more gameplay of this game. And I will see you next time.